Hey guys, and welcome back to my base in the Geomine server, or on the Geomine server. I've been doing a lot of digging since the last time uh, I recorded anything on here. Uh, this is my great big giant hole that I've been working on. I finally got down to the lava layer just a few minutes ago. Cleared it all out. Um, earlier this week I put in a glass ceiling. Um, yesterday I put in... Oh, what are those? They're not bridges, they're the things on the sides. <laughs> Great, I broke a torch. Walkways, catwalks, I guess, that's what they're called. Put some catwalks around the outside. I cleaned up my work. I cleaned up my workshop. And not sure what else I'm going to be doing to this place. Um, it's not meant to be pretty. It's meant to be a workspace. <laughs> That's all it is. Um, somebody suggested making a tree farm out of it. Uh, others have just suggested making it into a mob trap. But there's already tons of mob traps on the server. So I don't really need to make one at this point. Uh, the only thing I'd need a mob trap for at this junction is uh, TNT. And I've already dug out my big hole. <laughs> um, I had a guy named Random225 help me set up this d lagless iron door setup. Well, lagless being is it's set up to a TV. Da -da -da. <laughs> it's set up to a T flip flop. So I can push the button and it opens the door or push the button again and it closes the door. <laughs> but I got that backwards. Um, after I was done cleaning this out, I logged in and found this nice little sign from a guy named Quiet. And he left me a whole bunch of wooden picks on the floor. <laughs> it was just covered in wooden picks. Um, here is a little farm that I have. Just a little temporary farm. I got some pumpkins, some melons, some reeds. And I moved all my storage boxes downstairs. Down here. I needed some more space. And yeah, there's another walkway out over here connects way over there and this back wall is just full of cobblestone I've got this is where the piston door is at piston operated door so it's pretty cool Oh, I see, it's a double piston. Just kind of pushes it back and forth. Pretty simple. Probably could have done it myself, but I haven't messed with redstone in months. Oops, let me eat some melon here. Close my access door. Um, and in the last episode, I talked about building something up in the sky and I needed some scaffolding and some materials to build it with. Well, I've got three large chests of dirt and also three more chests of nether rack. Somebody suggested it was easier to get nether rack to uh, use as scaffolding. Uh, a lot of suggestions were to use leaves. <laughs> leaves would have been pretty cool. But I think dirt is actually easier to work with. I, I can just punch it. Well, I mean, you could punch leaves, but you don't get them back. And I've got the prime material for what I'm going to be building my islands out of, my floating islands. Endstone! Got three big chests of endstone to work with. So I'm all set. In fact, I think 
Yeah, I grabbed a Silk Touch pick, and, you know, Silk Touch Efficiency 4, really high-powered pickaxe, and just cleaned out the bottom layer, and got some nice clean stone out of it. So this is my workshop for now. And... And so, but yet for whatever. Um, I'm since this is coming up out of the middle of my roof now. I think I'm going to be moving it back over there quite a ways. And I'll show you guys what I'm going to do with it here in a little in a little bit. Hopefully, we can get to that in this episode. Uh, what time is it? Oh, it's sun's going down. Let's take a snooze. Because what I need to show you guys next is, uh, has to be during the day. Oh, and that 64 block pillar of dirt over there is where I jumped off in the last episode. Broke my ankle, too. Pretty painful. Oh, come on. It's already nighttime. Ah! I know it's night. There we go. <laughs> Ta-da! And since nobody else is on the server at the moment, they left just as I was about to say, hey, I'm going to start recording. And they're like, I got to go. Bye. Yeah, I'm always on here pretty late at night, which is pretty early for uh, most of the people on the server. They're all living in Europe. It's a European based hosted server so okay in the last episode I had asked you guys to pick which location you wanted me to build my sky city in and the majority vote was for the ocean so that's where I'm gonna build it I'm probably gonna build it over that direction um, just because of portal related issues which I'll probably explain later when I decide to move my portal because I'm gonna move it up onto the the platforms. Actually, I'm not going to move it, but I'm going to add another one up on the platforms, so that uh, so that I can have a way to get back and forth between the the two. So, what I'm doing out here on this boat is, uh, in my last Wolf Den episode, somebody asked me to show off some of my sketches that I have done. Well, I can't. I'm, I'm not going to take pen and paper sketches and put them up on the computer. But what I am going to do is today I'm going to try and sketch out on the screen what my plan for this particular build is. And here is kind of a rough area of where I'm going to be building. And what I've got here is this area to build with. Um, this should be about the two, five, five layer, and I know this is, uh, 64 down here, and then I've got the trees to build up above with, and then this is my path down to the, the workshop. So in this space here, I need to build three platforms that are mm, there's going to be three floating islands up here. So what I'm going to need to do is create a uh, I need to start with a place to stand, okay? And I'm going to build a little ladder up here to the place where I stand. And that's going to be around layer 80. That gives me a little less than 20 blocks to work with, say about 15 blocks to work with in this space up here. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is pillar up about 10. So that brings me to 90, and from there, what I'm going to do 
with the the end stone is create these bowls, I guess. And I'm going to create my platform from there. That's where my island is going to be. Is out of this. Um, next thing I want to do is I want to plant a jungle tree on top of that. I'm going to have jungle plants all over the top of the uh, what is that? The top of the, the islands. And the island top is going to be the first island is going to be about 110. So I'm going to use this jungle tree as a measurement to give me enough space to, to create the next island. And the next island, I'm going to build another platform up here, and that should be about 130. There's going to be another piece in the center. And then I'm going to have another bowl. And that looked horrible. <laughs> this looks horrible. Let me try drawing it again. Another bowl up here. And those measurements are going to be... Let's see, the bottom of the bowl is about 140. And the top, let's draw a little thing across here for the top, it's about 160. So I've got the lower platform at around 80. 10 up from that, I'm going to create this, this bowl. And the bowl is going to be 20 high. Same thing from here. I've got a, a base platform. Um, it goes up 10, and then 20 up from that is another. It, the, the bowl is 20 deep. So the next thing, we'll create another jungle tree up here. And then we'll make another platform to stand on. We'll go up 10. We will create a bowl. Really ugly looking bowl. But I need to have the space above the bowl high enough that I can plant more jungle trees on top. So I'm not going to take it all the way to the the limit. I need to be able to build stuff on top of this this island here as well as have jungle trees on it. So the top of the bowl here needs to be or is going to be about 30 less than the the limit. So it's going to be about 220. And that's about where I need to to build it. Um, the base of the bowl should be about 200 and the scaffolding will be about 190. So that's my sketch for my plan as to what I'm going to be building here is going to start by building these islands, need some scaffolding to, to create them, um, and need to give them enough space from one to the other to be able to, to grow jungle trees on top of them. So, I hope you enjoyed this portion of the video, and next I'm going to get on with actually building it. But first I thought I'd stop by the Ender Ender and see if I can enchant a few items. 
So here we go. Smack those Endermen! Slap, 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 slap. <laughs> okay, enough of that. And here we are. We got 30 levels from the Ender Ender. And we're heading up to the Enchanting. Put in a tool. Don't like that one. Let's try and select another one. Here's a nice long one. Click on it. And lo and behold, we have a really awesome pickaxe with no useless items or useless enchantments like uh, Silk Touch or Fortune. So let's get back to building. All right, be back in a sec. Hey guys, I just got back from the end after doing some nice enchanting and uh, Enigma showed up to say hi. Um, I don't know if he has a mic or not, but uh, he's checking things out. It's pretty late at night, so there's not many people on the server here. Um, what I need to do is I'm going to dig a tunnel to create another uh, ladder pillar. And in fact, I need to make some ladders. Okay, not sure what he was trying to say. Um, oh, there's a ladder in there too. Okay, I need sticks and wood. And then stick that in the center and some letters. Oh, oops. <laughs> there we go. Um, another one? There. I think that's all I can make for now. Hopefully that is enough to get us to where we need to be. If not, we'll come back. Hey, uh, uh, uh. It's throwing steak at me. What is he trying to say? Started a new world, 1.5. Beans in my shaft. Cool. <laughs> okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig a tunnel through here with this nice new enchanted pick that I've got. I also went and enchanted a helmet. Uh, since I'm doing underwater work, it's probably a good idea. And I tried to do something with the bow, but it ended up being yucky. <laughs> not, not as nice as it could be. So... I need to get a fair distance away from my current portal. So I'm going to dig this tunnel out here. Oh, you. Let's try out the new bow. Got him. Okay. Oh, I see a creeper sneaking up there and an enderman. Bye bye creeper. Okay, this is a cave that I didn't know was here. Oh, another creeper. And it looks like another ender. Oops, I hit the ender. He'll be back, I'm sure. Nope, I knew this was here. Okay, this is part of that cave system that connects with my... Uh, farm. Mm, we'll stop exploring for now. I want to get back to digging. Digging, digging! Diggy, diggy hole. Oh, wait, right, where's my... There it is. Okay, 
can come through here. Normally I like three wide tunnels, but this will match better with the doors eventually. Um, need some more light. Let's light down. And continue digging the hole. I want to go about a hundred blocks away from my other portal. And figure that's a reasonable distance. Um, I may need to reset the portal where it is. Um, usually the first portal that you create is not perfectly lined up and it's just kind of at the nearest low. It's not random. It kind of goes out in a circle from where it should be. So it, it finds the nearest uh, possible location or not possible not nearest possible um what is the right word that i'm looking for the nearest acceptable location safe location i guess yeah so the portal when you create it tries to find the nearest safe location which is not exactly the best location to put it and usually you have to dig out a cave or a hole or room large enough for it to fit where it's supposed to line up. So I may have to go and line up my portal. But hang on a second, let me check my coordinates. Okay guys, um, it looks like my portal is around 70 and in order to make it 100 blocks away it's going to cross the zero which means I can't just go to negative 70 that would make it quite a bit farther than 100 blocks so to make it match up I would need to have it reach um, negative 30 And I'm right about 10 now. So if I go another 20 blocks, I should be should be where I need to be. I do love these, these new enchanted pickaxes. Let's try one more torch and we'll see where we're at from there. It's just a rough guess. Okay, let me check my cords, I'll be back in a sec. Okay. I'm at negative 32, which is right where I want to be. Now, hmm, which way do I want the ladder to face? Probably the same way as the other one, so we'll go up this way. Hmm, oh, the torch is in the way. Let's put the torch over there. light. Now, one of the things that is one of the cardinal rules of Minecraft is never dig up. But with a, uh, with a ladder, that's not a big deal. Because the ladder will prevent stuff falling down on top of you like what just happened to me. Oops. Let's just get rid of all this stuff. Okay. 
And right now I'm just trying to reach the surface. And I think I'm definitely going to need some more ladders because um, if I need if I want to pillar up to level 85, I'm going to need at least another 20 ladders. As I showed in my illustrations earlier, I'm going to start around 85 or 90 or something. Um, So I'll definitely need to make some more ladders. Probably chop some more wood. Get some more sticks going. But this is where I'm going to build the, the platforms so I can create the bowls and everything. And the sun is going down. So, there we are. This is where the first platform is going to start, and it's going to stretch out that way to the east. I mean, to the west. But the sun sets to the west. Okay. So, I'm going to go back and get some more sticks, create some more ladders, and we'll continue on with this project in a little bit. So, I'll be right back. Okay, sun's coming back up again. It's a good time to start the next section of this video. And I need to grab some saplings. Okay. So I've just been doing a little uh, bone meal tree farming. Pretty simple. Place a tr sapling. Hit it with some bone meal. Step out of the way of the leaves. I'm glad they don't suffocate you just chop it down. There you go. Oops. Center there. And look, I got an apple that time. Clear up the rest of this foliage. So that the a next tree can grow. Oh, and this one, this one turned into a big tree. Oh well, that's fine. Okay, there's our other pillar out over there where we're going to start building our platforms. And I've got enough wood, so let's just swim over to this one. There's our bed, in the middle of the thing. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe putting the portal in there, in the center, but the problem with that is if there's not enough stuff below the portal, sometimes when I come through, I glitch through the floor and just fall straight down. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird glitch. And it only seems to happen on this server. Well, I haven't been on too many other servers, so I'm not sure. <laughs> this is the first server I've been on since 1.2 came out. Okay, let's put our supplies away. Oh, this isn't where that goes. Uh, let's go down here. Here we go. That goes there. So bone meal. Should probably make a chest, a separate chest for the sugar cane and the seeds and stuff. Um, produce and right now let's just turn everything to wood just go all out and then I'm gonna need a bunch of sticks let's make some more sticks forty eight ladders um Looking at my notes again, I need to go up to layer 80, so I only need about 20 ladders. That should be enough right there. 
Okay, so next I need to lay out a platform. It's about 80 blocks wide. I need it to be pretty big. Um, back in my art spore world, I built one that was 100 by 100. So I think I'm going to do a little bit smaller. And the 80 starts over on this side. So that's one, two, three, which means if I go 37 blocks that way, actually, let's add a single one to it. So if I go 40, or <laughs> if I go another 38 blocks that way, that should be correct. Okay, and there's that. Now I need to go 40 blocks that way, 40 blocks that way, and 40 blocks that way. And oh look, there's some more little islands over here. Cool. Um, so here we need an exact 40, and we'll start placing it that way. That way our platform will be an odd number. Okay, and the sun is going down, and I'm going to skip ahead and fill in this area and make it just a big giant square. So I will be back in a little bit. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so here's what I'm doing so far is I've got the outline laid out, and what I'm doing next is I'm filling in these, or um, I'm laying in these this grid these grid lines and then I'm just gonna come back later and just fill them in like that so I mean it's probably not necessary to fill it all in entirely but I find that when I'm working when I'm gonna be working underneath the bowls and I'm gonna be adding jagged pieces to it to make it look more natural it'll probably be easier for me to do that from the underside <laughs> what did I just say um, so what I was trying to say was that it'll be easier for me to when I'm looking up and placing blocks it'll be easier for me to not have to worry about where my feet are and if I just have this solid base of dirt underneath me, it'll be easier to work and safer. Especially if I wasn't out here over the ocean. I'd be, be falling down all the time. And when I get up to the, up, the, the higher platforms, falling down is going to be more of a concern and it will be for here because I'll just have to climb twice as far to get back up so I think it's just easier to fill out a solid square platform than it would be to uh, have the empty open grid lines but I'm gonna go ahead and finish that up and I'll get back to you guys in a little bit There goes the skeleton. Is he gonna jump off? Nope. He's just running around. And there he goes. <laughs> so what I'm doing here is I'm laying out or I'm filling in the blocks between each grid and I'm going to try and take advantage of all this massive 
I'm going to try and take advantage of all this massive amount of dirt and I planted some saplings. I've got some spruce over there and some birch over here. And I'm hoping that during the time that I'm laying or yeah, filling in all this space, the trees will grow. And I can chop them down and make tools out of them. And then plant some more trees while I'm at it. So. So this is where I'm at now. And I'll uh, get back to you guys in a little bit. Okay. Good. We're almost done here. Just a few more blocks. And got to keep everything lit up. I was starting to get quite a few spawns, or monster spawns, so I had to come back and light everything up a bit. A little practice with my bow, though. That was kind of fun. Get in some more practice for the cluster ch challenges, and... Uh, with the Optifine setting of no weather, it still starts a little bit of a drizzle and then it clears up right away. But I don't have to deal with recording in the rain. Oh look, the sun's going down on the on the day, but uh, it's been three hours since I started this and it's getting to be pretty late. And I still have to do some editing and wrap up this episode. So I think that's going to be it for now. Um, this is One Wolf saying thanks for watching. And have a good night. Because it's night here. The moon's coming up. See you later.